Hey everybody, how you doing? It is Thursday, and I'm starting a new type of video called Real Talk. This is the first installment of it, and I'm going to get right to it. So, I want to talk to you guys about the fact that I am beyond frustrated with what our society, what our world, what our culture as Americans is coming to. We live in a world where our media outlets' main attention are focused on things like Kim Davis, who is some ignorant woman from the South who feels she has the right to, I don't know, go against the law and not give people who want to just do the most basic thing when it comes to proclaiming their love and get married. Um, or the fact that we live in a world where presidential campaigns are being uh, run by people who are late night TV entertainers, um, or the fact that we have taken a cap off of the amount you can fund for campaigns in the presidential election, and the amount of money could basically solve um, like probably hunger in the U.S., or education, or health care. Um, I want to talk about the fact that we are using our social media outlets to feel a false sense of connection and self-worth. I want to talk to you guys about things that matter. And all the things that I just listed are be out of... I, I, like, I get flustered just thinking about them. If you've followed me along on any of my things, from Instagram to Facebook to my blog, Artisan and King, to this YouTube channel right here, you understand that I am trying to do something else. I'm trying to do something bigger than myself, and that is put a message of change, of positivity, of love out into the world, because there is so much of that missing. I want to talk to you guys about the fact that I still have to deal with what feels somewhat like bullying and gossip at 27 living in New York City. I'm sorry if things I write offend you, but they're my feelings and I'm honest and everything ends with a positive outlook of me saying, I hope that you find happiness and love and I feel left out sometimes. I can't believe that we are in a world where Fashion Week is overtaking the remembrance of September 11th tomorrow. I can't get over the fact that I was traveling with my two friends who are ethnically ambiguous to some extent, and I am very much white, and we're sitting on a train in Amsterdam, and this man, who is clearly drunk, starts to just yell at me because I say I'm from America, and he automatically has this assumption of who I think I am, and that I am better than him as a Muslim man. I am Jewish. I am gay. I have been picked on my entire life, and I do not think I am better than anyone. I may have moments where I think I understand things better, but I am always open to hearing someone else's perspective. It was such an eye-opening experience for my friends, but it was not the last time or the first time that something like this will happen. I've been singled out because I wouldn't give a homeless guy who was clearly also drunk money and he then proclaimed that I was a faggot, and I told him he was correct and that he should remove himself from the situation before it escalated because I have no problem defending myself in this kind of scenario. But that was also an eye-opening experience for my friend who I was with at the time because she doesn't experience these type of things. And a lot of us don't experience these type of things or think about these things, and that is what is frustrating for me and why I'm trying to use my social platforms for something bigger and something better, and why Thursday is about to become real talk. There's so many men and women who have hundreds of thousands of people at their attention, and they aren't doing anything to try and better the world. They aren't doing anything to try and put real issues at the forefront or to create a change that would be so easy if all these people just kind of said this. You know, I applaud people like Harry Styles who said something about SeaWorld and the fact that they do um, not take care of their whales in the best possible manner. And there has been a huge backlash on SeaWorld since the documentary Blackfish and he, that pop singer saying this. Like, normally I would never even think to mention someone like him and 
I just feel like he's done something so simple and easy and it's such an example of what can be done if more of us were to do this. There's a ton of selfies and shirtless pictures and hot girls in bathing suits and I get it, it's entertainment value and I am a part of that monster to some extent. But I want you to all understand that it is for a bigger purpose and it is to motivate, it is to create something bigger than myself and it is to inspire those around me to then follow in that same path. You can do a nice task for someone at any point in the day and that just hopefully sends that message to them that, you know, pay it forward, do something for someone else. It's time that we stopped with the BS. It's time that we stopped looking at our news and having Donald Trump and Kim Davis and their Kardashians at the center. Again, I don't wish any of these people ill will and I respect all of them in their own way because that is what it means to love someone and what it truly is at the core of all religions if you get to them. I don't care if you are Muslim, if you are Jewish, if you are Christian, if you are a man or a woman, if you are gay or straight, if you are black or white or anything in between. You are a human at the end of the day and you are looking for one thing and that is love and self-love. And the only way that we are ever going to create a change and make this world a better place is by accepting everyone and coming at them with love. And I know that that is a lofty fucking goal, but I think someone has to be crazy enough to do it. It's why I look to people like Oprah and think, wow, this woman who came from nothing, who was black and had everyone working against her, became one of the most influential people in the world. And all she wants to do is build you up as well. We need to address issues here at home in America and think, why is it that we rank number one in confidence, yet below the top 30 in the world in science and math? That says something about us as a society right there. Why is it that we don't have free health care or free education and that we're so afraid of having a woman leader? If you look at other countries who have done just these things and given free health care and free education and have had a woman as their leader, they've been better for it and their citizens and their communities build and they prosper and they change for the better. We need to stop. We need to stop right now and we need to really take a second and be grateful for the lives that we live. Whether you are super rich or poor, I bet that you have a safe place to wake up, a warm place to sleep, food to eat when you are hungry, clean water to drink when you are thirsty and want to bathe yourself clean. Something so simple can make such a difference in someone's life. And that is the message that I am going to always come at you guys with and why it brings me to an emotional state every time I think and talk about it. Love is the only answer. And until we all love each other, which again, I don't think will ever be the case, acceptance is key. And that is why I think there is such an issue and why, again, to bring this back full circle, Kim Davis is at the forefront of this because she stands for something bigger. And that is an evil that is hiding in this kind of woman's presence that says I am better than you because I am white and straight and I don't know what what she's going off of I don't get it but it's mind-boggling to me and it's time that I voiced these things even more prominently than I already do I hope that you guys are having a great day and I hope that this video doesn't scare you away from continuing on this journey with me because it still will be Wednesdays of motivation and Fridays of fitness and Sundays of naked confession because all those things add up to being a better person. If you haven't already subscribed, then please click that little button up there. It lets you know when a new video is up and ready to go. Secondly, if you haven't already given me a big thumbs up because you liked some of these issues that I'm going to talk about and talk about, then please do that now. And last but not least, if you have a question or a comment or want to just say anything on your mind, please leave it in the section below. I get back to everyone that writes there. I pride myself on this and I can tell you guys right now that I am at this weird crossroads with my life and my career and dating and I just want it to be for the bigger, for the better. And that might not mean a lot of money and that might not mean a lot of people like me, but I've learned that that's okay because you won't make everyone happy. So till next time, much love, over and out. Bye guys.